stuff. Stop my girl. Think about shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell him it's one of me. He make it fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like that he blowing her back. Think about me 'cause he know that it's fat. Yeah. And it been what it been. Calling his phone like he'll send me a pin. Look at my shit 'cause he know what I'm on. But when he hit me, I'm not gon' respond. But I don't sleep enough without you, and I can't eat enough without you. If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't like sneaky shit that you do. Hey, beautifuls. Um, as you've seen in the previous clips, I was getting my nails done. So I got my nails done. They're super cute. They are. F the girl that did my nails, her name is Rich Please on Instagram. I'll have it somewhere on the screen here for you guys. Um, make sure you guys follow her on Instagram. If you're in the Houston area, check her out. Period. So I just got off of work. Let me put you guys up a little bit. Oh, she's not trying to get me cute. But I just got off of work and Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. Hey, you guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nessa. If you've been here since day one, what's up, girl? Welcome back. I'm about to go to the makeup store. Do I have enough time? Yeah, I do. I need to make sure they don't close at... Let me see how they close. Oh, my God. They close at 6. And that's in 30 minutes. So, I'm about to go to this makeup store because I need to buy some makeup brush cleaner. If I don't make it, I'm going to just go tomorrow morning. I'm about to... I'm eating this bomb ass broccoli cheddar soup why am i eating soup and it's almost 90 degrees outside outside i don't know so you guys it's been one year since i moved to houston yay i can't believe it's been one year you guys i remember last year around this time i was crying and venting to y'all about how I was like damn near depressed and your girl's living her best life oh excuse me I'm burping but um yeah your girl's living her best life here in Houston now like I fucking love Houston I fucking love it here I'm never moving back to the Midwest I love my city though. One thing about it is I love my city. I always tell every single person that I meet that I'm, when I tell them like, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I be like, yeah, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I can't live there no more, but I love, I still love my city. I have so much love. They have Wisconsin and my, cl my clients in Milwaukee has a special place in my heart, period. Because I wouldn't be here without them everything i swear i would not be here without them and of course without y'all too period but uh yeah it's been one year it's been one year since i moved to houston that's some crazy ass shit it was one year on may 27th girl Ooh. one year it just seems so like surreal like it feels like i just moved to houston literally like last month no let me not say that. like maybe like a few months it feels like just like a few months ago it doesn't feel like it's been a year since i moved here time is going by so fast i swear to god i swear to god it's going by so fast and one thing that is going to be my new year resolution for 2024 because you guys know the year is flying. We're already halfway through the year. My New Year's. I already, I already came up with this. Sorry, my sister's blowing my fucking phone up. But I just came up with a New Year's resolution for 2024, and I'm gonna try to do it for the rest of this year too because I feel like this is very important. Life is short, and I want to start celebrating more of my accomplishments in life like anything i just it's been five months or six months since i started my business i'm gonna celebrate it because it's almost half to uh, almost to a year if that you know what i'm trying to say i feel like i'm like kind of just talking like that but um i feel like I, I for 2024 i'm gonna start celebrating more of my accomplishments in life 
meaning being able to to take myself out like just celebrating like making every every anything that i do i want to make it like a, a celebration of my accomplishments just celebrating it because i feel like that would i mean yes it feels good like okay i accomplished this but like actually really like celebrating it just it just feels like just a hundred times better so that's gonna be my new year's resolution for 2024 is celebrating more of my accomplishments just to look forward to something to be be like oh what you celebrate today girl i just hit 200k on my instagram like you know shit like that like it just it, it just feels good to celebrate shit like that so that's what i'm gonna do for 2024 but yeah i just want to go on here and tell you guys that before i pull up to the makeup store um i'm gonna talk to you guys once like i said i'm gonna talk to you guys once i get there because the way these people drive here in houston mm -mm -mm. these motherfuckers can't drive for shit so yeah your girl is stuck in traffic bumper to bumper we're barely moving i'm going five miles per hour me like I'm waiting for you to come lie to me. Oh, my days they just hurt me. I can't compete. Still on the way, I lay away, give you not around me. I'm showing you still go feel needing you to talk to me in your love language. Show me, yeah, how I connect to you. Help me understand how you speak. Your love language, bad as I wanna be yours. I can get with your program, sex shit like a soul gym. Stick around, cause I want to, bad as I wanna get focused. Thank you. Thank you, you too. So, this is the place. Come check them out. So, yeah. I just spent $130. All right, so um, as you guys seen, I was just in the makeup project, the MUA makeup project. Love the store. I love Houston because they had like so many stores that Wisconsin never had, ever. Love that for all my makeup girlies. If you're looking for brush cleaners, makeup, lashes, they also sell lashes by the bulk. Um, definitely check them out definitely 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 worth every penny it's a little bit expensive if and then also too if you're a makeup artist that takes clients if you show them like your actual booking site you can get 20 percent off so that's why i like them as well too so if you're if you use like makeup forever makeup check them out because i believe i don't want to say they do i i believe they do give you money off but i'm not entirely too sure but i know you do get a discount so yeah I think I might just start using Makeup Forever because I can get it for there for... Look, I, I, I can get a few dollars off than going to Sephora, you know? Say hello. Going to look at stuff. What do I need? Uh, wait, I see it. Never mind. That was like a wrong one. No, that's the only size. Okay, that's fine. Let me get a little thing of tahini. I think I'm gonna add some tahini. Look how little these are. He's a thirsty dog. We're back from the liquor store. So. Don't mind that this t-shirt says mom. We accidentally bought a t-shirt that says mom. But I want to show you guys what I got from the liquor store. So first thing first, I got a, the Daily's strawberry mix. Because I want to make a strawberry lemon drop. I like the regular ones, but every time I go out, I always get a strawberry. Strawberry lemon drops. Trust me, delish. Um, of course, for your lemon drops, you need lemonade. I personally don't like this lemonade, but this liquor store only sells this lemonade. I like the, um, I like this one. I prefer the Simply Lemonade. So, we're gonna use this. I got a bottle of Tito's because in my lemon drops, I like vodka in my lemon drops. People like tequila, Kevin likes tequila, so I got tequila. 
And then the star of the show, you need this. You need this for your lemon drops. If you don't have this, go get it. You need this for your lemon drops. I got some tahim because I think I'm gonna put tahim on my lemon drop. And then you need personally fresh lemon drops. Fresh lemon is better, but I got this instead. And the last thing I got was a bottle of Patron Treasy. Um, but I'm gonna make mine with Tito's because we're like the healthy girls. We're getting healthy girl, healthy girl vibes. So. I'm about to make my lemon drops. Let me go grab all my stuff I need to get. And I'll be right back. So I got my little shaker. I put some ice in it. Uh, you can get the shaker off of Amazon. They sell them for literally like $30. It comes with a set. So I'm going to make mine first. So another thing too I forgot to tell you. You do need simple syrup for your lemon drops. So what I'm gonna do, shake this up. Cause I'm gonna rim my drink with tajim. So a little bit of this. Let me back you guys up a little bit. I'll bring you guys down. So I put this in a paper plate like this. And then I'm gonna put some tajim on the side. I think I'm gonna do half tajim and half sugar. Cause I, don't know, I just feel like it because I know for sure for Kevin's I'm gonna put sugar on his so what I like to do I like mine fully rimmed so I'm gonna fully rim mine with like so I just literally just dipped around the rim I'm halfway do the tajim Kevin don't like tajim so I might have put tajim in his so you see I did half half of the tajim and I'm gonna do the other half strawberry. I mean, the other half sugar. Half and half like that. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna put this over here so I don't drop it. And then for Kevin's, I'm gonna just do his half sugar because he really don't drink it. The he really don't touch the rim. So half of the rim, coated with sugar. Like I said, I'm gonna make mine first. So the way you do it. Um, me personally, I kind of wing it sometimes. I know this side is the side that you're supposed to use the liquor, but I'm going to do this side because why the hell not? So, the liquor, I'm going to start off with Tito's. You need two of two. And then you need two shots of this. Two. And then I like to add a splash of lemon. Like I said, you need the, the, the fresh one's better, but I'm just gonna do a splashy splash. Half of this tall one of the simple syrup. You don't need a lot, because the lemonade that I use is already sweet. And then I never tried it with this one. I always use strawberry lemonade, but I'm gonna do well, really, you're supposed to do... So, I'm going to do two of this one. You have to do three lemonades. So, when you do the liquor, two shots of each, whatever, vodka or tequila, whatever you want to use. I either recommend vodka or, or tequila. Two shots of that. Two shots of this. Splash of lemonade. Half of this simple syrup because the lemonade is already sweet um i just like to add it but then i'm gonna do three of these one two three close it up <gasps> oh my god periods mm. that was a good sip Mmm, the strawberry one, fucking fire! You really don't need the simple syrup if you're making the strawberry one because you'll be making it with this and this has a lot of sugar in it. So yeah, cheers. 
hello it's the next day i want to show you guys what i bought in the past couple days because yeah i just kind of you know went shopping whatever so i'm just gonna grab stuff out of this box uh it's stuff from best buy sephora and also um we're gonna start with the first thing so first thing i got is this big old body lotion this was expensive but i love the smell of it it literally smells like baccarat some people like it some people don't i personally love it oh my god i can with a spoon fancy so now i don't have to get my nails dirty so there's a piece of hair somewhere i could just scoop it up without getting underneath my nails dirty period eighty dollars I think it was $90 actually. The next thing I got is I got the new, I got another Kosas Glow IV. I have one now, but if you didn't watch the vlog from yesterday, make sure you go watch it. I was doing makeup and it was giving ghosts. So I ended up getting a darker one because your girl's tan. I hope this ain't the one that I have because it looks like it. Yeah, so I got this. Love this stuff. Especially for the summertime, if you want your skin to look glowy under a matte foundation, because I like f matte foundations, but I, I've been loving like this sparkly, glittery finish to my makeup, and this, your face is going to be glittery. The next thing I got is I got the Sephora foundation, the best skin ever. I kind of wanted to try this because it's only $20, and I really want to try it on myself first before I use it on my clients. So yeah, let's... Try, we're gonna try this out so then the next thing i got was i got some eyelashes from amazon i think i just kind of realized that i can't wear lashes in texas that my allergies get so bad and my eyes get so itchy to the point where i'm literally scratching my eyeballs so i think i just gotta stick with strips i think i might just do extensions for like if i'm traveling somewhere but yeah i think i just gotta stick with just doing just strips but these are my favorites. So these are from Amazon. Let me take them out of for you guys. So these are how they look. I love, 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 love these. For me, I do stack them. They look better stacked. Let me show you guys. But these are my absolute fade. These are the ones I always wear every time I do my makeup. See, they look so much better. Yeah, love, love, love these. Favorite lashes. So I got some memory cards because as you guys seen in my last vlog if you didn't watch it make sure you guys watch it i got a new camera and this camera records in 4k but i didn't know that you needed particular sims cards to record in 4k so i had to get the extreme plus ones the gold the gold ones because before i had the you know the regular ones i did like the ultra ones and i wish i would have knew that because i have so many of them and i can't I mean, it records still good quality, but I want to I want to have 4K pictures. Oh my God, look at this wide lens. Oh yeah, and I bought a new lens for my camera because in my last vlog, I was talking about that I bought a new camera and this camera right here that I'm currently recording on is the Sony ZV-10, something like that. It's the new, it's one of the newer ones. Everyone's talking about it. Personally, this camera is okay. I, it's just expensive. The camera itself with the lens that I came with, it was like $900. But I wish I would have just bought the body and then bought the lens by itself because the lens that I'm currently using right now was $500. It was very expensive because, let me sit down and talk to you guys. Let's have a chit chat. So I broke my Sony ZV-1, which was the one that I was using prior. I love that camera, but I just kind of wanted to upgrade anyways, but I broke that camera and you guys know what's crazy? If you've been following me for a while now, um, I got to a car accident back in 2021 and that camera was actually in the car accident and it flew out the car and it didn't break. And then a few weeks ago we were out to eat and I was about to put my camera like right here and it slipped and it fell and then none of the buttons worked, the, the lens wasn't closing. So I went to, to a camera repair person here and they told me that it was $500 to fix that camera. Mind you, a brand new one is like four hundred to five hundred dollars. So I'm just like, if I do repair, I might as well end up. I might as well just buy a new one. So then I end up getting this Sony ZV10. Um, just try it out because I heard good reviews about it. So far, I like it better with the lens. It's just very, very expensive. That's why I need to take this vlog and shit more serious because I just spent fifteen hundred dollars on a camera. So yeah that's my story and then i also got my uh can my canon g7x i got it fixed as well because it wasn't broke it's just that the lens thing didn't close i ended up getting that fixed so that broke probably more of like my traveling vlog camera i don't know it just depends i, I like this the canon but 
I feel like what I didn't realize was depending on what memory card you use is how good of a quality your videos are going to be. So I feel like that's why I didn't really like the Canon G7X because I didn't know about the damn memory cards because um, it says it right here. It says 4K. Reading is a fundamental. So yeah, that's what's been going on with my camera situation. I was going to return this camera because it's just like, damn, I really spent $1,500 on a camera. I feel like every time I buy a new camera, I encourage me to, to vlog more because I well, I start to fall in love with the camera because at first I really did not like this camera. But once I changed the lens and bought a new lens, I like it 100% better. So the next thing I bought is I bought this Jaclyn Hill Rouge Romance Blush. So Jaclyn Hill's makeup brand is a hit. Y'all look at these blushies. I need to buy another one for my clients because, or I'm gonna use this one for my clients and buy another one for myself. But you guys, she snapped. I ain't gonna lie, her, her brand is very good, very good. Another product I bought from her was this Jaclyn Hills Cosmetic Brightening and Setting Palette. Oh my God, you guys, this is fire. I have it right now for my clients and I had to buy myself one. I bought two for myself because I need to see the actual colors in person and then I'll figure out which one I'm gonna keep and which one I'm gonna take to my suite. One of them I got is the, uh, I want to say this is the light to medium and this is the tan, medium to tan. But I have a link below for you guys. But these setting pot brightening powders, oh my gosh. When I tell you guys, it's phenomenal. The dark one too, if you're looking for like a good bronzer shade that has like a lot of multiple shades, the dark one, the darkest one that she has. Oh. I seen a makeup artist use it i was like oh my gosh don't mind the background kevin is currently playing the game so this is the first one this is the i think tan one but these two shades right here i want to see this shade in person okay, so this is the lighter shade i might end up keeping both because i really like these two bottom shades right here so yeah these get your hands on these these are fire i think also too she sells them in individual ones personally i feel like you get your money's worth better with the one that come with four i got this sheer it's basically a powder move it's a loose setting powder and it has like a little bit of shimmer in it as you guys as i was telling you guys earlier i'm obsessed with like anything that makes my face look shimmery i don't even be able to tell because i have this loose part but oh my gosh it gives like these light little sparkles on the face i can't wait to use this basically like another setting powder but with shimmer in it guys another it's a loose it's a luminous powder so this right here is also the same thing laura mercier has something like that too but i don't know i just like jacqueline hill's products so yeah this is also a face powder as well you can't really tell but that's what i like about it because it's very subtle but it gives a little bit of a sparkle and this is the shade carrots this was in the shade sheer light um, I had to re-up on my Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade Tan. Three bronzer shades. Because, like I said, Jaclyn Hill's products is actually really, really good. Um, I like using the bron her bronzers a lot. I use her bronzers for my clients. So if you're looking for a good bronzer shade that is actually true brown, Jaclyn Hill's bronzer. Because I do like the Julia's Place one. But I don't know about y'all, but when I put on my clients, it almost looks like blush. Like I'm contouring the face with blush because it's too red. And I really needed something more cooled down, like brown. So I'm obsessed with these face powder bronzers. This one's a little light. I might just end up taking her to work because I do need a darker, or a lighter one for my clients. That's the shade vitamin d but they are darker when you put them on this is in a shade top down i think i'm gonna like top down because i know i had that before for my clients yep so this is top down and they smell like coffee like chocolate coffee buns out is a little bit darker than top down but i really really like jacqueline hill's cosmetic like i ain't gonna lie she did a really good job see that's kind of all the stuff that i bought in the past couple days your girl loves shopping what's new so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys did please give this video a thumbs up comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you ain't subscribed to my channel already because what are you doing girl what are you doing make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you in the next video catch up on the ar how you did that check out lift up when you take off how you did that you put switches up on your blinkers how you did that
your LV back turned to a legend. How you did that? I seen that back turn to a Louis. How you did that? That look like a brand new booty. How you did that? You got face stones and over the watch. How you did that? You hear some scratches in your closet. Why you did that? How you yelling slash that? How I kill a cat? Yeah, hopping around in the two to make big pillows in the back. Let's go. Too many vibes in the Philly. I guess someone gon' get wet. How you gon' get me when you still on me? How you gon' do that? Snap the rule back. Give a nigga yak attack. That look like a brand new